There it goes. It begins. I swear. Okay. Better than nothing right now. All right. Not sure why Shanty's in my head. Oh boy. Yes, I did skip the cooldown exercises last time because Keep your I was in a bit of a rush. Three, two, one, go. I'm probably going to pay for it today. Your knees up to touch the ring con. Later. But trust me, I know what I'm doing. It's my body. Out. Last time. All right. Good. Next is the heel lift stretch. Bring the insides of your ankles up toward the ring con. Focus on keeping your knees out. Last time. All right. Good. Next is the back straightening stretch. Take a big step forward and drop your hips. <sighs> Oof. Don't let your knees move too far forward. Okay. Make sure you're Apparently, pointed I'm just going to be... Let's do one more of each. My shirt's just going to be changing colors throughout the day today. Yes, just like that. Finally, spread your feet. Raise the ring con above your head and lean to the side. Be sure to keep your lower back straight. As you exhale, begin to lean. Let's do one more of each. Great job. All right, that's all done. Sorry, I was checking one thing really quick. And 
now I've done it to myself once again, where I start off a session by fighting a boss. I should mention that on days when it's kind of crappy outside and I can't really go for a walk or a jog to... Oh. When did this all fall off? On days when I can't go for a walk or a jog, I do come in here to the adventure mode and run through it. So. Okay. Oh boy, another test. Oh, hold on, let me. Let my stomach yell at me for, for a minute. Come on, let's run. Oh, I see we're starting off on a strong note. Perfectly executed dodges. Oh, I didn't see them right. Not the point here! How dare you undermine my body positivity message. Man, the writing of New Game Plus is, actually, is pretty great. Sorry, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I am playing around with the green screen because I've got to turn off the uh, green screen filter effect, and I'm noticing that I, uh, that some aspects of my shirt, namely the green aspects, are kind of melding, are kind of letting the background bleed in. Lately, whenever I've been doing these back presses, I've also been doing a uh, a hip shake of sorts, just subconsciously.
Now, I know, like, one person's probably curious. Scooter, why are you doing this so early? Why are you doing your ring fit session so early today? Well, for one, I actually got up at halfway decent time today. But the other reason being, next week, I have to basically double down on all my recordings for the week. So the week following, I don't... Um, so the week following, the, the second week in May, we'll say, I'll just say. I'm doubling down at that point because I don't want to... I don't want to have to force myself to put together content if I'm not feeling well. Again, I am very scared of it. But I do have my second vaccine shot on May 10th. Awesome. some liquid on my uh on my ring con I was like how the hell did I get liquid on there I'm not even sweating yet Good job. Amazing. not sweating and I haven't had a drink of water so how did I get liquid on the ring con already nice. anyway back on task Fine work. Sharp. so yeah um I'm doing it a little early today Amazing. because I'm tr gonna try to right. edit this week's recording down, Very at least nice. edit it down Very as soon as possible, Great. and then have you know, okay. Let's keep going. Great. kind of run, kind of go into next week, nice. both Great. feet out or both feet okay. out ready to run. So that way I don't uh, put too much pressure on myself to get things done in a crunch time. Because what I wanted, because what I want to do, what I would like to do is Monday, uh, or not Monday, this coming Sunday, the second, if my mind and body will cooperate with me. I'm gonna take my sure to I'm gonna take my normal one day off. I'm gonna take my normal one day off of the week to record that week's <laughs> excuse me. To record that week's reco uh, recordings. Try and edit them down by Tuesday. <laughs> so by Wednesday I can do the net the following week's recording session then have that following week just off also I apparently am apparently I've started writing on my calendar when I'm supposed to be receiving deliveries
Here we go. Is that yoga set done? Are you... Okay, you're doing a box blast. I was ready for the crouchies. Oh, big boulder. I'll do a rock at him. Look at this big rock. Come on. Throw him harder. Harder, Daddy Drago. What? Nothing. Next up, some leg raises. Okay, let's go. This will target your ass. All right. Keep now, lately, when I've been doing leg raises and other activities such as this, nice. I've had to basically turn my body. I've had to basically turn so I'm Fine work. like almost okay. facing the opposite direction of my switch. Because my switch okay. and my left Joy-Con that I use for this, like the communication is not working out the best for a reason. Great. So nice. it can't go, it can't like go through my leg for a lot of this stuff. Good job. And as Keep such, very nice. Perfect. And as such happens. The and because the signal can't get through my leg, it's it, it pops up this message when I'm about three reps in says communication with the Nintendo Switch is interrupted, and I have to re and I have to do a resync of my Joy Cons at that moment. Break. Okay. Okay. Great. Well done. Fine work. Ten more. Uh. Yes. Yes. Damn you, tacos and how delicious you are. Keep it up. You make me sluggish. Excellent. You think I will learn to stop e eating tacos the day before streaming? A high intensity workout session, but nope, I never learned. Two punch. Don't push it. Take a break if you need to. <sighs> now with that done, let's actually skip around from go away from the back press and the front press for a little bit. Okay, <coughs> let's move. Oops. Focus on your chest muscles and press it. There we go. Excellent. Alright. 
all the pent up gas from lunch. So I pretty much just stopped eating breakfast. And some days even lunch. All the pent up gas from lunch is leaving. I think what I'm going to try and do today. What I'm going to try and do today, and I, I rather, I'm not sure if it'll actually fall into place. Is I'm going to try and go a little longer than normal with the Ring Fit stream today because I'm starting early enough. I'm going to try and go a little bit longer than normal. But I'm also, but also at some point tonight, whenever she does go live. I'm gonna see if I can't go do some monsty hunties with a friend of mine, Jess, who I've rated before on here. See if I can go do some monsty hunty stuff with her this evening. Because her and her husband are going to be streaming it. I never did ask the clarification if it's just gonna be her or her and her husband, or because she's basically paying several people in her in her server that have said, hey, yeah, I know you have Monster Hunter. I'm going to hunt Mosty tonight. Of course, maybe me and said, of course, I'm in. I'll have to, I'll have to use and or roll back my weapons so I'm not using, I'm not using oblivion crashing moves. Cause I've been I've been shotgunned through the Monster Hunter grind before, and though it helped to play with my friends, okay, let's go. it also hurt a little bit because I didn't get the full experience of how to properly hunt a monster. Like I still understood because I was still able to hunt a monster on my own. But I did depend upon my friend's help for a lot of stuff. I'm pretty sure she's a veteran to the series, but I also don't want to rob her of experiencing a proper monster hunt. Especially not in Rise when there's so much woo wah wee hee going on. Editor's note woo wah wee hee is loose translation for wirebug. I guess I can talk about this a little bit because I'm well past this point. Freaking holy cow, man! They added Camellios in, as well as one or two other monsters. But they added Camellios in, and oh, oh my god! Oh my god! The Camellios fight is fantastic. Especially playing with friends who are on equal footing power-wise as me for a team, and they're not like leagues above, and I'm just like, okay, I'm here for moral support. That Camellio fight is so awesome. From what stories I've been told, they reworked it to be friendlier to your item bag, we'll say, but still detrimental, and I love it. Now what? This again? Oh, this is new. This feels like this is new. Stay focused and blow out the fire. Oh, 
Nope, not gonna hit me. Too fast. Too stupid, too fast. As I proceed to get hit, like that. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I don't think I've ever come across this attack before. This is new. Okay. So there's some merit in New Game Plus. There's some new stuff in New Game Plus. All right. Uh, hold on. Okay, no, that is the one I want to do next. <laughs> Let me get position. Okay. Okay, let's switch sides. One revolution let's down. Okay, there's that. Excuse me for one second, I need to take care of something that's kind of disgusting. Allergy season, man. Huh. One turn left on it. Okay. Well, back press it is. Yeah, that's... Like, I will tell you right now, if any of you guys do not have to deal with seasonal allergies, consider yourself lucky, consider it a blessing. Because for those of us that have allergies, or asthma, in my case, my, my, primarily. Excellent. For those of you that have issues with pollen and danders in the air, nice. springtime and fall time have differing severities of how much disgusting Great. stuff you do. Keep it up. Okay. If you aren't, nice. like me, hawking loogies in all spring long, because trees and flowers are trying to get off, then you're doing it in the fall time. Okay. Unless you're unlucky like me, and apparently I'm developing an allergic reaction to extreme cold, or at least extreme temperature shifts. Like, I've had it happen in the past. It hasn't happened so much recently, outwardly, but more inwardly, where I've had an allergic reaction of going from around freezing temperatures to comfortable temperatures 
very quickly. And my oh, shoulders are sore. Hold on. And my skin breaks. And my skin breaks out. But more recently, my lungs have like they've slightly like the air tubes are like slightly uh, inflamed and or collapsed. One of those two, whatever you want to say. Until my the rest of my body is used to the fact that I just went from very cold to very warm. My body's dumb sometimes. Every day I wake up. Ah, oh, what a wonderful day to be alive. Great. My body. Um, actually. Excellent. Excellent. Oh, actually, you're not gonna have a good, good day at all. Perfect. Here's your inhaler. Again, reminder. For anybody that's gonna get on my case, well, oh, you can't say that because it's insulting people with half asthma or half allergies. I can count. I can't count. I cannot count on the number of hands and feet I have. How many times I have almost died because my allergies wouldn't chick take a chill pill. What is that? A cat? Cease all normal oxygen intake and outtake functionality. Kill the user. Okay, let's move. Target your abs with this. Great! Shark! What is that? You walk you You're visiting a okay. dusty storeroom? Amazing! Quick! Seal off all passageways. Nothing gets in, nothing gets out, even life sustaining oxygen. Oh, what's the third one I can put in this list? Walking through a, walking through a, a flowery field? Better make sure that you can't smell anything for the next three years. Allergies are fun. They're great. Very nice. Great. Oh, I'm gonna KO Drago on the set. Ah, okay. uh, yes. Me complaining about allergies and my asthma. The power I need to push through to the feet. A hulking 15 foot dragon that could probably bench press an entire stadium. Good job. Amazing. Looking like a One Piece villain. Well done. Awesome. Neat. For the number of times I reference One Piece, I have not seen any episodes of One Piece. Okay, I've seen like the first 20 episodes of One Piece. Perfect. Keep in mind, that's 20 out of, oh god, what are we up to, 1,027? 1,030-something? You know, less than, a, less than a percentile of the entire catalog? True. I've been there. I've been at a friend's house and they've been, when they were watching the. Uh, uh, oh god, I don't know the location name, but the uh, Don Flamingo arc. Now exercise uh, into experience points with a victory pose. Charge your squat powers, but don't overextend yourself. Victory! Sure, we'll check my pulse, even though it's probably kind of low right now. Lightly covered the iron. Kind of didn't, didn't do a lot of running. Your right thumb, as shown. Measuring. Please 
Mr. Didn't do a lot of running, oh. more or less reps. But we'll see what the thing says. Hello, Kasai. No. No, I'm streaming earlier than normal today. Streaming a little bit earlier than normal today because I'm think because I'm gonna see if I can't go a little bit longer in the ring fit stream for a change. And also it just happened to work out that I might go. <laughs> uh, seeing as uh, it just worked out that I have my high school friend Jess, she's streaming some Monster Hunter tonight and I might hang out with her while she does that. But you said it. You heavily imply that you've got a crush on the one lady. Well, I shouldn't say one lady because it's uh, Guru Anma. You've got a crush on the leggy lady. Continue, although I'm probably going to reel back and check out what that course is, even though I'm pretty sure that course is Smackback, which I refuse to do. Ah, yes. The children. The children are doing nice things. I'll do them. It'll be a nice uh, cool down. But I'm going to go look at that other world really quick. See what I goofed up. Oh, come over here. Alright, so what did I not do? Actually, I can go to this portal and see what I didn't do. Yep, I didn't do smack back. We're good. Oh, no, no. We're not done. Sorry. Wrong button. Unless it is absolutely required. Unless it is absolutely required to beat a world. I am not, repeat, not doing smackback. Because it does not function. Okay. I'm buying this. And I'll also buy this just to have it in reserves, even though I'm not going to use it. Let me make sure I can actually get my set bonus first before I buy up everything. That's why we see if we can get the set bonus first. So I need one more topaz. For pants. One more for pants. Never thought that'd be a sentence I'd say, but all right. So I have come to the conclusion that I'm probably not going to need these in the back half here anymore. Could also be my, uh, could also be the fact that Monster Hunter has told me, hey, sell your stuff. Can you tell what I've been doing in Monster Hunter the last few days? It's definitely not grinding. Nope, not me. Definitely not on that grind. Nope, couldn't be me. these core pieces just in case because I have a feeling I probably can still use those. Wow. Just thumbing through it really quick seeing if any other gems pop up near the end here. Nope they didn't.
So that tells me that, yeah, fossil lights were the first gems. Okay. Not selling anything. Thank you for tr for quadrupling the money I had in my stores. Really, your patronage is quite is quite incorrigible. Oh, and a topaz. If I beat this, fantastic. Now please just let me play it. Oh god damn it. Okay. My hip popped. Oh god. In one moment. My right hip popped. And it felt fantastic. And I need to get a moment to re to realign my body. Okay, we're good. Ready? Go! The microphone's in the way. Microphone's in the way. Can't see. straight up and you know it. Oop. Good. Told you went straight up. Oh god. Over here we go. Yep. Oh god. Awesome. Well, let's say when's gonna be over. Good lord. Hip-hop was necessary. Felt amazing. Oh boy! The topaz I need. Ah yes, the topaz. Topaz specifically designed to run honey out of business. The topaz will put honey out of all of our wares and guts. That topaz. Bye, do not change. And leave immediately. <sighs> Jesus Sorry, I'm still not over that. I'm still not over that hip hop. Like, that's something that doesn't really happen all that often with myself, but when it does, Ready? oh lord. Go! It also happens a bit when I, uh, Forgive me if I'm talking about too much TMI kind of things right now. Uh, but, like... Uh, uh, popping, like, recently, I've been popping my... Uh, recently, I have, I have had the... For, uh, fortuneness. I've had the, uh, I've been able to pop my, uh, uh, sternum, that's what it is. 
basically the bone connects your ribcage to the rest of your body. Or, yeah, it connects your ribcage to everything else. Or, yeah, it connects your ribcage together. That's the words I'm looking for. Got it, last second. But yeah, like, recently, like, once or twice a week, I can... Oh, really? I was a hundred short. I'm going to be able to pop my sternum while sitting in my chair that you can't see off camera. I've been able to pop it. Ready? Go! And it's been bliss ever, like, ever since I learned how to go about doing that. meant to do that one hit. Okay, I don't know if that was better. That was the same as before. <sighs> I want that strength up juice really bad. Okay, let me focus this time instead of talking. Ready? Go! Okay, I actually focused that time. I did worse. Then I'm done. <laughs> I am leaving. <laughs> Although some dragon fruit does sound... Although some dragon fruit does sound like it would be pretty helpful. Soaring over all these 300 coins. Just because I'm not used to how they're supposed to. Just because I'm not used to the way readout. Oh! Well, that sucks. Sucks. We're just gonna take that out. Dolph. 
it's actually the first time I've taken damage in a long time in this. Still an A. We take those. And I don't care enough about Wheel Crusher or whatever the hell that one is. Oh, I'm just getting an invitation to the next area. That's nice. I don't care, though. I want some actual stages in my in my mix. <laughs> oh, yes. Would you like the fast pass to the rest of the land? Okay. Let's okay. The first things first. Money. Where's my money? Money. Secondly, because I'm starting off with with the pendulum bend, need this need this uh, defense or this uh, offense up. There we go, because of the smoothie, keep going. And I'll just do Russian twists. Yeah, considering that's more powered up than the front press. Holy cow, I didn't realize how much more powered up how much more power this had over the front press. water break also you can see that I have indeed not turned off my green screen effect as my shirt seems to fly through the color range
Okay. That's all handled. Nothing I need to worry about right now. Let's do an actual stage. Ooh, leggies, you say. I'm ready to die. Before I even take one step. Now we can go. Come on, let's run. Slowly repeat the squats. What's today's challenge? Okay, let's select the skill. A blue gob hoplin, eh? Well, what if I don't care about ailments for a minute, just so I don't kill myself with mountain climbers? Okay, let's go. This will work your upper check. Very nice. Or I should say weapon triangle. Affinities. Keep it up. Okay. Square peg, Wonderful. square hole. here, but the sweat. That is the most random song get back in my head when I haven't heard it in at least three months. So somebody's taking a break. And it's the gob hobbling. Well, I look tired and grumpy too if that was my face. Got him! See that? Totally burn totally burn a non-feeling AI program. Burned it. Hello? Hello? Every middle schooler in the Tri-County area? That's a new burn for you! Use it! <laughs> Alright, hang on one second. I'm gonna, re I'm gonna do a little readjustment. Because even though it's not that much of a problem, I'd rather not have a wardrobe malfunction midstream. Didn't have this issue last stream fit stream, so I must have either I was wearing the right pants or I must have done up my get up just fine last time. 
Also, I should address the elephant in the room that I'm wearing. I'm currently wearing pajama pants that are like two, three sizes too big for me. I've gone through and gone and redone all of my t-shirts so I have actually proper fitting t-shirts. Pants? Mm, let's take a rain check on that one. So focused on it. Again, apologies for just flat out showing you my butt. But the switch is over here, and this going through my legs is an impossibility because I mean, you can see I got some big old legs, some kick of steel beam and half legs. You know, it just comes to the forefront of my mind, but I probably shouldn't dwell on it. But I know some people will say, you know, you got such huge legs because because you're still fat. I'm a little bit, yeah. But let's look at the reverse side of things. I'm 250 pounds now. I used to weigh over 400 pounds. You don't walk around on, you don't walk in, you don't do construction and walk around on 400 pounds, or move around 400 pounds in that capacity on twigs for legs. run-up segment so yeah Just, some of my weight probably does extend from, from the fact that it might be fat. A lot of my excess weight probably comes from the fact that I have more muscle than I should have in my legs from carrying around 400 pounds swiftly at one point in my life. That and the uh, little age-old adage that's come about in the last five years of, bro, I'm just built different. Good. 
No, we don't skip fights. Maybe I should have skipped the fight. <laughs> Oops. Alright. Let's take just a minute here to regain, to regain ourselves. Make sure I actually have sound coming through here. I do. Just hella muted. Oh. Well, I pace about trying to regain my, regain my stamina. How's everyone's day been today? Everyone have a good day? Having a good day? About, about to be done with your work day and you're watching somebody work out on company time? Shame on you. <laughs> I'm joking about the last one. BDD, hold on. If you're caught up on your workflow and you can spend a little bit of your time at work just to scoof off, I can't stop you. I can't stop you if you're, if you're, if you're not caught up. Always have been a firm believer of, I've always been a firm believer of get all your work done immediately. And whatever is, happens after that point, whatever. Because <laughs> I've had many situations in my life where I have done all my work as soon as I physically can, and my and my part, my end of the workload is finished. My end of the workload does get finished well before close time, while I watch all my coworkers who didn't who didn't heed my, the advice I just gave, and they're scrambling with an hour left in the day trying to get everything they should have done in the first seven. Some things you can't plan around, like, you know, customer service jobs, especially in the food industry. You can't do everything possible because there's always the random element. random element of customer service jobs where you have all your tasks done and it's four and it's 30 minutes to close and you basically have to do one thing that you can only do when there are zero customers left in the store but then when it comes 10 minutes to close there comes that one customer that proceeds to undo three hours worth of work in the span of five minutes, buys nothing, and walks out.
but I've had that happen once or twice in the past. I know how infuriating it is to have in customer service, especially food industry, customer service, where somebody just barges their way in. Five to ten minutes to close. And you've got everything all nice and stacked in the shelves for the morning food. You know, they've got a nice nice presentation up there for themselves in the morning so they don't have to worry about it. And some customer comes in and just goes, Oh, I like this, I like that, I like this. Oh, what's this over here? I like that. <laughs> now I have to pick up after myself. Not a casual flex, by the way. I'm literally just picking up after myself because I use props for all my examples. Unfortunately, props I have around the room are stuff that I should not be throwing around like props. But I see you folks out there. Who work two who work two p.m. to eleven p.m. in customer service every night? I see you, cause that was me. I've been there. Which is why I always treat everybody in customer service with the nicest attitude I can possible, even when I have a complaint. You know, you gotta, for lack of a better name, you got a Karen that walks into the store 10 minutes to close with their product, slams on the counter and says, doesn't work. Why, how, okay, can you explain? No, it doesn't work. Can you explain it a bit better? No, it doesn't work, I want a refund. I can't issue you a refund until you tell me what's wrong with it. It doesn't work. What specifically is wrong with it? I told you, it doesn't work. That's the kind of person that, that you want to slap and say, if you came in an hour earlier, I'd be more happy to walk you through it calmly, but we're closing in 10 minutes and you're the only soul in the building. Please explain better detail so we can all leave in the next five minutes. Because like if I walk in, this, uh, say these headphones I just bought two days ago. I walk in with these head, with the headphones to so wherever I bought them say, uh, yes, my headphones have stopped working that I bought here two days ago. Uh, it could possibly be that the Bluetooth adapter is broken or that the battery the battery system uh, storage for system for it has fried. I'm not entirely sure which, but it's probably one of those two things considering when I turn it on it doesn't it doesn't stay on for it doesn't stay on for more than a couple seconds or when it does stay on, I just get a boop of an unpairing noise. And always greet those people and always greet those people in customer service with pleases, thank yous, and sorry if I'm a bother, if you feel it's necessary. count half my moves. At least a handful of them. There we go. Great. <sighs> Give me a second. to keep going on this topic I'm somebody that's from the camp of oh, excuse me 
I'm somebody that's in and from the camp of everybody at one point should have to work customer service. I'm talking like McDonald's, Walmart, a gas station, a clothing store, something of that capacity. Everybody should work at least one of those jobs in their life to get humbled. Watch out, I'm gonna get on a soapbox here. Because I've been hearing reports about this over the last two days, but there are so many people now that are refusing to work those jobs because the people who never worked those jobs in their life are making those jobs terrible. And the managers who have never had to work the lowest staff end of, of that job don't understand what low staff have to go through and treat low staff like like uh, treat low staff like crap so nobody wants to sign up for those jobs because they don't want to be treated like crap and then you've got those same managers and to a lesser extent the people who never worked a customer service job complaining that nobody's applying for or, or working more than two weeks at a bare minimum pay, bare minimum human rights job. I guess less than bare minimum rights job. And they're out there going, why does nobody want to do these jobs? Why is nobody working? Put two and two together, my friend. You'll figure it out really quick. People are there for the paycheck. They're not there for the experience for those jobs. A lot of people, that's their, that's their in-between job because they, because the job that they thought they were getting a promotion for and packed up everything to have their new lavish job got screwed away on them. So they're forced to work. The job that you don't pay them enough to do, they're forced to do that job while they get themselves back on their feet. Or they're high schoolers. Or they're high schoolers that don't know what don't know what job what those jobs should be or how, how they should be better for them. I mean, take this, uh, uh, take this page out of my book as something to make your life better as well. Work those jobs. Work those jobs if you have to. Kiss ass if you have to. But learn from my mistake of not sticking up for yourself in those positions. Also learn from my mistake of not searching for anything better because you're not being treated well in those positions. Find your breaking, know what your breaking points are and know when to cut ties. I've done it several times. I've done it twice in my life where I've dropped a job just out of the blue, just, you know, day 100 and, or no, day 460 of working at that job, I'm perfectly fine something happens on that day, day 462 of my employment, I quit, no, no, no two weeks notice, I'm out of here. Here's all, here's my uniform, here's my badge, here's my, here's my, check, here's my uh, bank statement so you can put, uh, direct deposit my last paycheck, I'm out. Treat your employees better and this wouldn't happen.
Unfortunately, I don't have experience drinks. Okay. Pretty sure I can't I'm even make any experience drinks. And I don't want to waste a money drink on an experience fight, so... Sorry, that got rather long-winded and admittedly probably a little personal. But... I have chosen that... I have chosen... I chose that as my soapbox moment for the day. <laughs> Has worked at those positions. I respect the hustle. that hustle and healthy headspace are two very, very nice. different things. Good job. And healthy headspace is much more important than the hustle. But I suppose on the flip side of that whole oh, argument is... Okay. <clears throat> uh, excuse me, not that belch. But the other side of that argument is... Great. Companies Perfect. need to treat you like a person and not, and not another number. So... You know, if you're on your hustle and you're having a bad day... Just remember, just weigh out. Has the company done something nice for you recently to make it worth to make it worth not throwing a throwing a final paycheck in their face and saying I'm out. Because there have been a couple. There's been one or two places I've worked. That I've had bad days and I just recall the bad stuff that's happened. But then I stop and I think back and go, No, they actually treat me like a person. I'm just having a bad day. I gotta let I gotta lay low. not blow my stack right. and come at this quandary in the future when I'm not, when I don't feel, when I feel like I'm not about to rip Amazing. somebody's head off over a, over a misplaced Snickers bar Okay. Fantastic. 
Respect the hustle, but respect yourself more. Get into the get into the Good keep it up portion. Dead. D E D dead. No, we continue. We take another small water break, but we continue. We also address allergy issues. Not that way, jerk. Right, I'm doing it the wrong way, that's why. <sighs> Again, I know it's disgusting. But also again, allergens in the air. Let's take a moment before going to the stage to make some more smotus. I may need to buy more white sesame seed. Because I don't have any cabbage for that. Defense up. We'll make some money up stuff. Cause like I've got, I got three of them left, but I haven't seen any black tea leaves for a bit, so I need some more money stuff up soon. And can I make more of these? Yes, I can. I've used enough of them that I, recently that I need to restock. You know, pumpkin smooth, uh, pumpkin soup actually doesn't sound half bad. Last one. You know, just grind up some pumpkin with some soy milk, which, that's another topic I'll have in a second here, I guess. Grind up some pumpkin with some, puree some pumpkin, mix it in with some soy milk, make sure it's kind of a semi-liquid state, mix in some cinnamon and some cumin. Mmm, that's delicious. Well, that's another, that is the other thing I was going to say. So soy milk. I haven't tried soy milk yet. I would like to someday. Considering I have made the jump to drinking almond milk. Well, I kind of went gradually. I went from drinking skim milk to drinking sweetened vanilla almond milk. And now I'm down to unsweetened almond milk. Vanilla almond milk. And, mm, man, that stuff's delicious. <laughs> Like I realize it's more of a nut mixture than it is, it's more nuts than it is dairy. But it tastes so much better than regular milk. <laughs> At least to me, it tastes so much better. Like I don't have a dairy allergy or anything like that, but I, I love, I love me some almond milk now. Like, as weird as this, it reminds, like, the taste of it uh, reminds me a bit of, like, it just reminds me, like, of a, like, a, like a vanilla ice cream almost. The, uh, the almond milk. The unsweetened almond milk. It reminds me of an ice cream. Of the taste of ice cream. And that's the weird part about that. Okay. Comparative-wise, because I still count calories to keep myself level. I'm not going up, I'm not going down. And I'm probably going up because I'm eating a bunch of sweets recently. But I keep try to keep myself level now. I still, I still count calories. But like skim milk, 80 calories, you know, 80 calories a cup versus unsweetened almond milk, 30 calories a cup. <laughs> now take that taste I described of vanilla ice cream and take it to vanilla ice cream where it's like... 300 calories a cup. It's 
Speaking of vanilla ice cream. Like, you would be surprised what you can find that that fills the your craving void that is really healthy for you. You would be incredibly surprised. For me, um, chips. You can get more power from the <laughs> like, I haven't had as bad of a craving for chips since I pretty much cut them out of my life over three years ago now. But when I get cravings for chips, when I do get cravings for chips now, I'll get a bag of, like, sun chips or a bag of pork rinds. Volume to volume. Sun chips and pork rinds. Well, I guess pork rinds are, depending upon your brand you get, are half the calories of traditional, you know, like Doritos or Lay's or anything like that. It is half the calories. Same crunch. Hell, you know what? Recommendation I'll give you, because I had them. They, uh, sun chips have a... Uh, Lime and chili. A lime and chili chip. Okay. They're delicious. Like, Challenge yourself by keeping your feet off. They've got a lot of lime, a little bit of kick. And because I always look at calories in anything I eat, looking at the calorie count, it's like 600 calories for an entire bag of them. An entire normal sized bag of them. You turn around and take that same calorie count to a bag of Doritos. That bag of Doritos is like 1,300 to 1,700 calories for the bag. Very nice. Same with the thing with the 600 calories to a bag of pork rinds. Again, depending upon the brand you buy, the brand I buy, they don't have huge bags of pork rinds. But Good job. I can eat the entire bag of pork rinds and not feel bad about myself. The next day. Fine work. Wonderful. I have a bowl of Doritos, and I question, and I question if I'm gonna have to pull out my fat pants. Fantastic. Fantastic. Great. Perfect. Nice. Amazing. Reposition here a little bit. Very nice. Awesome. Great. Well done. Oh. One second. Okay.
you watch, forgive me if I'm a little slow right now. My stomach is doing the day after tacos colon flips. Stomach and colon are two totally different organs, but you get the idea. Oh my. Sort of been resolved. Oh my lord. Could also be that I don't know how to drink water properly. And I suck in as much air as I do water when I drink water. song in my head, but I gotta also think of the intro lead into it. Very nice. Keep it up. Fantastic. Man, I don't know the lyrics to the song. I gotta like pull up a lyrics page so I can read it and actually get the lyrics right to the song. So we're gonna drive everybody wrong if I get the lyrics wrong. Okay. Drive everybody wild if I get the lyrics wrong. Nice. Scooter, English is your first language. English is your first language. You know enough Spanish okay. to not search, to not die, and you don't. And you all you can do is read Hiragana. You can't speak it. <laughs> sing this freaking song, I can actually sing it. <laughs> Except now I don't have the song, I don't have the beat in my head that goes with these words on the screen. <laughs> you almost forgot your catchphrase, my friend. That was almost a 50 DKP minus. Oh god. <sighs> Old internet humor. Scooter, careful, this isn't 2007 anymore. That doesn't fly. Oh, 
Winded. Winded. Why can't I finish singing the song? It's winded. It's like one of my favorite songs now. But I can't fin finish singing it. That working out and trying to sing is exhausting as hell. Thank you. When I actually put my mind to it and know the song, I can sing halfway decently. Uh, have I seen Odd Taxi? No, I have not seen Odd Taxi. I don't even know what Odd Taxi is. Is it? Is it a cartoon? Is it a? Is it a? Re, uh, is it a televised reality show where nothing's really right or really real? Suddenly, I'm Joel from Vine Sauce. <laughs> seen it and I'm not sure if I'm gonna watch it just because I just don't watch anime not because I hate it but just because a lot of times animes kind of have the same revolving door plot every time there are a few that branch out and kind of stick their necks out from the bunch but a lot of enemies are in that bunch of here's the here's the setup to the plot that looks super innocent Plot happens. This guy that's that's trying to be all happy, ha all uh, buddy buddy in the front. The actual bad guy who's sending you after the guy who's gonna end up becoming your best friend. And the uh, lady plot somewhere along the way, in varying amounts. I've nailed every anime in existence. That's, that's not fair of me to generalize like that, I'm well aware. But a lot of anime does follow that same that, that same cookie cutter pattern. Just the set pieces they put around that cookie cutter is what's different. <laughs> which is why I like the weird anime. Which is like I wa like the anime that nobody would watch or only has like six episodes in its in its uh, portfolio, so to say. Like here, let me get one. Oh you're around here, just there you are. Like this anime, Fully Cooly. 
Six episodes long. One of my favorite animes. Um, I'm meaning to watch, like, I'm really far in my backlog. I've been meaning to watch, uh, Kinikuban, just because it's got so many, uh, Kinikuban is referenced in so many other animes so much, because it was kind of like, along with Dragon Ball, was kind of like the forefather of current anime. Or, I guess, Muscle. Muscle Superhero, something like that? Whatever it's, whatsoever it's translated, whatsoever it's translated to in English. I need to watch Kanikuman. I I want to watch. Uh, I know it's a I know it's a light novel first. I think it's I think it's called light novel. Anyway. I need to watch Way the House Husband. I want to watch Way the House Husband just because it looks stupid. I've been meaning to sit down and watch all the way through uh, Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid. Just because I've seen the haha -ha funny bits and haha -ha funny bits that people have sprinkled out on YouTube. But I would like to watch it all the way through because it looks like a good time anime. Not so much a high conflict anime. I can do this well. I can do this well. Ignoring the breathing exercises. Uh, Kanikuman, it's basically what if wrestlers had superpowers? That's basically the anime. from what I have seen of Dragon Maid that I like is Kobayashi herself is very much the every person like she is very much the every person and I love that they have an every person in a show about dragons become be, trying to fit into human society that and everybody seems to be all into Kana not me for obvious reasons Toru, because she's such a shitlord. <laughs> she's trying her best, but she's also a shitlord. And yeah, the, the anime does have a lot of fan service bits. I won't deny that. But, ignoring that, it's probably one of the, it's probably one of the animes I've seen where I could probably go back and watch clips of it again and not be tired by it. Something I will say is if you're okay with watching old stuff, um, another older anime that I love and that I do swear by. Oh, perfect! I'm using your element next. Another older anime that I love and I stand by, even, even though I think it had like two seasons. Uh, Big O. Basically, 
what I can boil it down to is what if Batman wasn't necessarily Batman but instead had a giant mech that's big up oh and his butler and maid kick equally as much ass as he does I want to say it's a 2000s anime. It also has a... Uh, God, I always... I know the guy's name as soon as I hear it, but I forget it. Um, whoever voices Mugen and Samurai, Sham Samurai Shampoo, another anime I'll recommend. And, who, and the guy who voices Spike in Cowboy Bebop, another anime I'll recommend. It, he voices Roger Smith, I think is the guy's name. I think his name is Spike. <sighs> what have you noticed? Type it out to me, I'll probably read it as soon as I get up from these mountain climbers. Like, I know about me when it comes to animes. If I, if I will actually watch an anime, I know me. Like, I won't sit there and watch the constant power struggle animes that everybody's so into. I'll watch the weird off-kilter animes that sometimes have a power struggle, but are meant to be more comedy bits or have, you know, kind of subverted expectations to, as to what the power level is. I'm gonna do these for a bit and die. Okay, good enough. Stand up. No need to rush, though. <sighs> Did you feel it in your stomach, not your arms? I don't think the only DVD for an anime I've got actually is that. But like, there's there's several anime that I've watched throughout the years that I wish I had the DVD box set for. Just because of the few I watch, those are the few I love. Okay, let's 
Like, uh, what is it? One that I'm kind of halfway on that a lot of people watch that is not the typical power level anime kind of thing is Tanya the Evil. And I've been telling myself I should watch that one. But I keep forgetting to watch that one. <laughs> but like friends have shown me, ReZero, pass. Fire Force, and I'm kind of interested in that one, but also a little bit of a pass. One Piece, oddly enough, is structured just fine enough where I can jump in on episode 1030 and get a brief synopsis of what's happened in the last 1000 episodes. Like it's, it's, the manga was done just such a way where you don't have to see every single thing to understand what's going on. But still pass. <laughs> like the plot the synopsis the idea of ReZero is kind of cool okay. but at least for me how it was written nah not so much but then again like I just got done with I just got done saying my one of my favorite animes is Fooly Cooly a six a six episode anime that didn't get too uh Seasons two and three until ten eight years after its initial launch. You got it. I think I watched like episode six and that was it. <laughs> Whatever. It was, it was one of those, uh, it was one of those days where I was hanging out at a friend's house and they were just going through their weekly watch schedule. So yeah, by mo probably by most standards, not very far at all. Jeez. Low calorie day, I see. Well, I did say I was going to try and go a little bit longer, but I might go back on that now that how I feel how I feel. But I should say, like, I haven't watched every single minute of it, but I should say I'm not above watching trash anime with big heavy quotations I enjoyed Sailor Moon and I still <laughs> on my wish list I still need to watch Inuyasha the last season
I just watched episode six. Six alone. Didn't didn't see one through five. Didn't see seven after. Just six. Or some number in that range. Just the singular episode. Whatever. So I'm gonna say the episode where like he does he does the time warp for the first time after he understands how it works. Oh uh, God, what was it? Uh. Ram finds out that Rem's dead because of Subaru. I think that's what it was. That episode. And before he jumps off the cliff to reset the cycle, he he basically goes ahead and kisses the the librarian Molly. So I'm fairly certain that's early on in the cycle, but I don't know exactly what episode. Okay. Sharp. Good job. Work. Nice. Well done. Excellent. I may have also gotten Ram and Rem backwards, because Yes, they have different hair colors. That doesn't have that doesn't help. <laughs> okay. Amazing. Very nice. Fantastic. Fantastic. Nice. In fact, kind of your lucky star, they remember what the protagonist's name Amazing. is. Sit here acting like I'm high and mighty in that. Okay. I'm not gonna sit here and act like I'm high and mighty in that. It's a bad show. It's probably a fantastic show. It's just a show, not for me. There are a lot of things in media that people just absolutely adore and fall in love with. And I'll give it a try. With my, with my, with all my heart, I will jump into it and I will give it a try. But if I don't like it, I'm not going to continue watching it. And I'm also the opposite. Like, hold on. Just had it. This is right. Still sealed, by the way. Ah, shoot. My uh, totally legit movies. <clears throat> Still sealed, by the way. But yeah. This movie. Star Wars Force Awakens. Probably one of my favorite movies that's come out in the last decade. What have I seen before that? Episode 1. And that was about it. I had not seen episodes two through six. And people jump on my case all the time when I say, I haven't watched episode two through six. I've seen one and seven though, and I like those. And I just get people jumping on me. It's like, oh, okay. Settle my purist. You're gonna make me not wanna go back and watch it. <laughs> Ever. I'm looking at my cabinet right now for another for a game example, actually, and I just now realized that I have two copies of the PlayStation Crash Team Racing. Oops. Like, uh, hello, Nepo. A 
Okay, screw it. Let's grab something that's not from five, that's not from 25 years ago. That's two games I can work with, actually. So here's a game. Here's a gaming example. I have this game, Sushi Striker. I didn't buy it until this year for five bucks. Cause everybody, cause everybody thought it was fantastic. I bought it. I tried it. I think it's okay. I'll probably play more of it in the future, but I'm, I wasn't going to buy it at $60 at launch. Or I guess $40, because level 5 was actually decent with their price figures. Here's a game nobody will buy, but I think it's fantastic. Uh, if I can read the name regularly. Dragon Mark for Death. Fantastic, fantastic platformer RPG with Metroidvania elements. Nobody's going to play it because it's, it's done by Nighthawk Interactive and published by Nico Nietzsche. Like those are the, that's what I can give an example in the gaming world of games that I think of that I have the same you know that have the same uh, dual-headed nature of people who recommend things and okay. force people to be purists about it versus people who, who versus things that that are decently good but nobody will get a chance. It's a very thin line to walk on, but you gotta but everybody has to realize. You're not going to make somebody love something by shoving it down their throat. By shoving it down their throat and going, You need to do it! You need to do it! If you don't do it, I'm going to disown you! That's not how you get somebody to watch the thing you love. How you get somebody to watch the thing you love is you introduce it to them, give a synopsis of why they should continue watching it, and then let them go with that point. If they don't watch it from that point forward, okay, that's fine. Which, okay, that lets me talk about something actually. This is like a month old topic, but that lets me talk about something. Okay, so I'm pretty sure everybody who watches me, almost everybody that watches me, knows about Alpha Red. Or at least, in passing, has seen Alpha Red stuff. Alpha Red and his current best friend, Joe, who have been working on everything, Um, have been playing Wario World, a game I love dearly, and I've covered. Uh, no, not twice. I've only covered it once, but a game that I've covered once on my YouTube channel, and I love that game. I think it's probably one of the best GameCube games ever made. You know, Alpharad, also known as Jacob, Jacob and Joe dunked on it for the first couple episodes they did for their for their no edited, not a barely edited Let's Play channel. And then by episode four, they were 300% on board and were like, holy crap, this is like the best game ever made. Meanwhile, meanwhile, on the opposite end of the spectrum, you've got people saying, you need to play new Call of Duty, bro, it's so sick. This is the same Call of Duty I played 10 years ago when I tried it the last time. Nothing's changed. Nothing's new. Nothing's innovative. Why do you want me to play this?
you're welcome for that performance. I'll accept all I'll accept all donations in the in the form of God, you're disgusting. kind of give a closing thought on that statement as you should with anything else of course recommend something to somebody tell somebody about it give a brief plot synopsis and give them a reason to watch it if they if they if they watch it or play it for the examples I'm giving recently fantastic if they're not watching it immediately or they watched it and they gave up on it because they didn't like it don't stand there and hammer on them and say, but you have to watch this and keep linking them clips of it. Because the more you do that, the more you're just going to have them go, well, I had interest in this, but now I'm just going to... Bye-bye. Yeah, exactly, and that's perfectly fine. That's exactly what you should do. Oh damn, I'm kinda of running out of steam already. I say already, I've been going at this for an hour. Speaking of going out for an hour, lightheaded. Like, I'll give an example of what I'm working on right now. I'm putting out a video, I'm still uploading, still uploading for now and for the next two weeks, I think. The number went up today. Let me look at this quick. For this week, next week, week following. Okay. So right now, right now I'm uploading a series on Indivisible on the YouTube channel. I guarantee you, you know at best one of the person that's heard of Indivisible. As I said on the finale episode of that, Indivisible is one of my favorite RPGs. It contends with the Golden Sun duology on Game Boy Advance for my favorite RPG. Am I going to sit here and spout for hours and hours and hours about how everybody should play Indivisible and bring it up every wiki moment? No. Because if I do that, outside of uploading the video series, if I do that, I'm going to make everybody who was interested in the game turned off from it immediately. There it goes. Like, I can sit here and tell you guys about my favorite character. Okay, 
marking pitch for indivisible. The the programming team, the programming, or excuse me, no, pub, they're publishing. 505 Games Publishing, who published other uh, noteworthy indie games, have taken Lab Zero, which consists of uh, animators from Studio Yada. Yes, 505 Games have published it. Hold on. Because I love the game so much, I double dipped. There's your box art. But yes. The now defunct Lab Zero Games, which worked on Skullgirls, which have artistic talent such as those of Studio Yada under their belt, have put together a platforming Metroidvania RPG that has heavy story beats about growing into a better person. From going from being a headstrong teenager to accepting that violence isn't always the answer and to accept everybody. Regardless of their uh, ail regardless of their social uh, crutches or social uh, downfalls or their physical downfalls. Okay, yeah, a little, a little different. Um, let's see. Like, from the aspect of uh, physically stunted people, one of your party members is a seven foot tall woman who has no arms and is 75 or is 75% leg, who is a dancer. To the socially stunted, who is my favorite my favorite character in the game, Rosmi, who is a terrifyingly powerful shaman. Who is a sadomasochist who trapped her bet her pet tiger soul bomb in her soul lantern and uses it as a form of magical attacks? Who cannot exp who cannot express good? Uh, who cannot express well-meaning sentences at all? So you have to look through her mean-spirited sadomasochistic words to find out. No, she actually does care. If what you described about ReZero is correct, you may like Indivisible, actually. Like, let me see if I can name characters in their quirks in the back here. Ajna is your main character. Uh, you meet, effectively, a genie, uh, Tarani, who is too kind for her own good. Uh, the mar the bow marksman Zebe, who is loyal to one cause and one cause alone. Uh, you have Latigo, the bandit outlaw, who whose only quest is to find and kill his ex bandit friends, and he will not let you use his full arsenal of weaponry until he has achieved that goal. You have the botanist, the botanist, uh, Jinsing, who's literally, who's literally just there to try and study the, the wild, the plant life of the world. And then you have Dar, who it starts off as your sworn enemy. <sighs> There's also Tungar, who is who is a knight by all knights honors codes, but is incredibly easygoing. You have the spy of Kampan, who is one of my favorite characters. You have the masochist Ren, who, whose only pleasure comes from hurting others.
Oh, should I mention that almost that like 85% of the game is voice acted? Because 85% of the game is voice acted. Featuring voices such as Matt Mercer, Christina Valenzuela, and also a new voice cast put together by Christina Valenzuela, also known as Christina V, aka Shantae. Um, I will say, if you find any video in the series, I've been better about this now. If you find any video in the series, if you skip to the end card, uh, the end card now on all the videos for the series they're related to, now link back to the playlist they're from. It's only recently though, so if you go, if you watch, if you go to the end card on episode 30, you'll see the playlist, the entire 55 video playlist of Indivisible linked at the end. Not all 55 videos are live right now, but 44 of them are. It's, like I said, it's, I know it's not going to be everybody's cup of tea because it does get a little wordy and a little story heavy every now and again, but as I, as I did just get done saying, it is probably one of my favorite RPGs that I have played in my lifetime. Second, t uh, fighting for, fighting for my love of the Golden Sun duology on Game Boy Advance. Don't you dare. Oh, gold hopping. That means they'll run away. That's fine. Hmm, I forgot to mention. So amongst all those other genres I told you about, platforming, Metroidvania, RPG, uh, the combat is also reminiscent of a fighting game. Combos and putting one direction up and one direction down for for some attacks will cause you to do different attack commands certain attack commands link together like you they would like they would aka a true combo in a fighting game and you block and for rpg purposes you block like you would in a paper mario game older paper mario games Which means even though it is an RPG, it ha it's more of an action game than an RPG. <laughs> There's not even like gear you buy in the game. There is no gear, there is no money. <laughs> Everything about advancement in the game is tied to the story. Hang on. 
I didn't see how many had left that time. <laughs> Oops. Reminder, move it around 250 pounds, ain't easy. Wide motions. There we go. <sighs> A tough one, but you can do it. Oh, I need the ring con, oops. But continue the topic okay, just a wee bit. Go. Not about not the game the individual ring itself. But Fine work. Nice. this is also why I have a video series Excellent. that's been going on for seven, eight years yes. now on my channel Great. called Amazing. the Think Fast series, where Great. any game I buy, Wonderful. I give it a first look at. And tell people Amazing. they should give it their give it their attention or not. Alright. Amazing. Very nice. So far Excellent. of all the games I've recommended on the series, okay. there's only been two games where I've said no. Okay. Do not give them your money. I should refund my purchase. Well done. But at this point I'm awesome. too far in with it that refunding it is a dick move. I will sit here and complain with buyer's remorse. So, and so you guys don't have to. There it goes. Okay. Round two or four. <sighs> but. Well, we came up with this topic about just things. That, I managed to turn this from a topic of don't force things on people's throat, down people's throats to try these things that I recommend. There's a game I bought. Like, I bought a game based on the name alone just because I saw it for cheap at a used game shop. Uh, the Legend of Dragoon. It's a PlayStation 1 RPG. I bought it like seven years ago before I even knew the person in question I'm going to mention right now. Then two, then a month ago, two months ago, I did a, I raided Little Foo, who happened to be playing that exact game. And while I was watching her playing it, I was like, oh, it's a square RPG. But it has attack input commands like action RPGs do to let you do more damage if you get your timing right. That's cool. I happen to have a copy of the game in my cabinet. I just never touched it. And now... And now I feel like I owe the game some service to play it at some point in the near future. Either for myself or for a video series. But... This thing's a heckin' chonker of a PS2, of a PlayStation 1 game. Four discs! It's bigger than Final Fantasy VII.
Whew. Yeah, it's gonna take me a minute to get through this, but I am officially running out of steam right now. I thought I was gonna go longer today. I thought I was gonna have that lovely one number in the hour mark to be two. That's not happening unless I just sit and do nothing for an hour in between. So, I think after this battle dojo, I'll go ahead and pass it off to whoever I can. Possibly pass it off to our friend Jess if she is live right now. If she's not, if she's not, I'll tell you guys, I'll probably make a tweet about it as well, but I'll tell you guys that I'm, I'm mentally making the effort to try and hang out with my, my high school friend Jess while she plays Monster Hunter. She's still in low rank hub quests, but I want to just play with her and I, and I can easily just make a boo-boo baby weapon really quick before the hunt, before the hunts, so I can... So I can just hunt with her without fear, without fear of just obliterating the monster. Because I'm using, I'm using technically G rank weapons. <laughs> For those that don't know, G rank, like for Monster Hunter, the uh, the gear and weapons go low rank, high rank, G rank. So basically. If I hunt with her with my, cur with my current weapon, Excellent. I'll be Perfect. obliterating fights in five minutes instead of going through the motions of fighting it like you should be. Excellent. So I'll probably end up just using the basic Kamura Blade to hunt with her. <laughs> or remaking the Kamura Blade. Awesome. Kamura Switch Axe more accurately. Or maybe I'll bust out a weapon I've been trying to learn. Okay. I mean, helping her on her quest would help increase my HR so I can do HR 30 urgent quest whenever that pops. Let's do some of this, like give my arms a break. Oh boy. Yeah, I am an absolutely drenched pile of disgusting right now. This is the color the pants were when we started today. This is the color the pants are now. I apologize, but I've Nicely I've sweat so much today that sweat is has is done being soaked up on my pant legs and is now all over my ankles and my feet, on my feet. Meaning I should probably run to shampoo or shampoo this off sometime soon.
I know I shouldn't apologize because human limits are human limits, but I am very low at energy right now. So I'm constantly taking breaks in the middle of my reps. I mean... <laughs> Most people call me lazy, but then I have to point to the uh, counter in the corner and say, I'm not that lazy. Look at that timer in the corner and tell me I'm lazy. On an average day, I've spent more time working out than most people think than most people think about working out. I spent an hour an hour more working out than most people do because all they do is walk from their car to the office. Last string. And it's four. You know what? Stay on the floor. I can barely hear it. Okay. There we go. Up we go. Whew. Let me see. Oh god. It suddenly jumped almost 400 calories burned. That's about my standard. Could be more, because A, the game doesn't account for a workout vest on underneath, and B, doesn't calculate weight properly for some of this stuff. Like for me, burning 400 calories took over an hour. For not calling out anybody specifics, I have a couple friends who are, who are playing this game that get healthier. But for some of my friends who are heavier but playing this game, half an hour in ring fit nets them 400 calories. The more of you there is the move, the more you burn. That doesn't mean go and, that doesn't mean go ahead and pop on 70 pounds of weight and then come back to ring fit and work out like you never left it because you're going to find yourself in a very bad place. A very winded place, rather, where you can't function properly.
And I'll okay. tell you this much. This workout session I've done right now, all I've done with this workout session is work off the peanut butter sandwich I had before I started playing this today. Because I was hungry, I needed something with energy, and peanut butter is a good energy source, but nine times out of ten, traditional peanut butter is loaded with, with uh, sugars. That and peanuts, as a traditional nut, aren't that healthy. <laughs> Almonds and pistachios, on the other hand, yes, very much so, because they're legumes. I believe that's the I believe that's the differentiator and all that. Ooh, almost level up. Skill drink, don't mind if I do. Finish for today, don't mind if I do. Yeah, that's the that's all I've got in the tank today, folks. Almost an hour and ten minutes. Yeah, that's all I've got in the tank. Um, because also, because I'm gonna end off the stream in just a minute here, and go clean up and whatnot and get myself ready to. Mentally trying to make myself so I'm ready to go assist Jess with her hunts later tonight. I'll try and link her stream when I when it goes live. But up another patu. But I'm also pretty much immediately after this, I'm gonna go back to editing what I recorded this week. For the next video series I'm gonna go right back to editing that series down and then after that's done well actually I've already gone through all my night I'm gonna go from this moment here to the shower back to this chair to edit to this chair to play Monster Hunter and then whenever that's done to this chair to go back to editing Anyway, Let's begin enough of my rambling aside start. about my plans yeah, for the rest of the day time. and or week. Do anybody have any questions they wish to ask me before I wrap things up today? Stretch your left arm to the side and hold it with your right arm. Um, Pull in your arm and Saturday? The muscles of I don't know what I want to do, to be honest. If, because I may stream Monster Hunter and just grinding up now specific monsters for their gear. Side. Because I'm not gonna lie, Camellio's, uh, the Camellio skier is kind of tempting. Bring yourself back slowly. Put but your hands on your lower we'll see what it is. I do have, I do have a game that I'm about a year behind in finishing. More than is comfortable. Again, I'm not gonna grab it because I'm sweaty. I am about a year behind Bring yourself back on forward. playing Shantae Spray and the Seven Sirens. Raise both hands and hold so maybe I'll wrist. start that up on Saturday and While play that game. On your wrist, tilt to the right I, should, I say start it up. Side. Rather, I've played a substantial amount of it in my own time, but now I need to, but I need to play more of it. And I figure Return to your a Saturday stream position. may be a good excuse to do that. And bend the other way. So I'll leave it down to that for now. Actually, down to three things. Keep an eye on Twitter. Maybe I'll play a good Twitter poll. But basically, Saturday is looking like it's going to be either... It's going to be either Pac-Man 99, Monster Hunter Rise Grinding, or Shantae and the Seven Sirens, or a mixture of, of those three. Bring your feet together and loosen up. Bend your body forward to stretch your lower back and the backs of your thighs. Hold it like that for a little longer. Bend your knees slightly and raise your body bit by bit from your lower back until you're upright. <sighs> Bend your left knee and bring chair. your ankle up behind you. Need my chair. Pull your knee backward and 
stretch the front of your thigh. I like how the auto white balancing is having problems on the webcam. Now do the same on the opposite side. <laughs> Physical manifestation evidence of why of, of I am too white. The camera can't can't decide if I'm too bright or if outside is too bright. Bring yourself back slowly, and your stretching is complete. Good job. Okay, there's that. So hey, now we're all done with that. Oops. All right, for a bit of connection to the body and from nerve to brain function needs support. Found primarily vegetables, especially the dark green leafy types. It can be found in some fruits, nuts, legumes, soy products, whole grains, and milk. Well, that's nice enough. All right. Now they're all done for today. Let's see if there's anybody to rate today. So as I come closer to you, actually first, before I, well, I put this away. Well, I put all this away, I should say. Let's see who we can go raid today. And as always, I let folks choose who we raid uh, every night. It is technically evening, so I'll take that. But it looks like the only person who is streaming right now is Kiddo. So... Let's go raid Kiddo. Uh, I wish I could see his HR right now. What can I do for a raid message? Got it. Because I just got to talk about Camellios. Uh, you'll see it on screen here in just a minute, but did Camellio steal your soul? Uh, so, yes. There we go. So anyway, show Kiddo some love. He's going to do some Monster Hunter. I may switch over host to Jess when she starts because she's also going to be doing Monster Hunter. And I may be there as well. Anyway, you folks have a great evening. Have a great start to your weekend. And I shall hopefully see you on Saturday for something. Have a good one, folks.